quote from Sir Roger Penrose, Nobel Prize winner for physics in 2020. Consciousness is a mystery that is not yet fully understood, but it is an important part of our understanding of the world. A Nobel Prize winner warns, we have completely misunderstood the universe, and what this man has to say about the truth of cosmology will blow your mind. We're stepping beyond the boundaries of explainable reality into a dimension of science based on consciousness control and dynamics. The James Webb Space Telescope is responsible for these groundbreaking new worldviews that could completely redefine your life. And now it has made another discovery that eclipses everything we knew before. The scientific instrument that was supposed to show us the beginning of the first galaxies in the cosmos is increasingly becoming a nightmare for science. The discovery of galaxy J0107A has triggered a cosmological revolution. It's the oldest known barred spiral galaxy and existed 11.1 billion years ago, at a time when the universe must have been young and chaotic. According to our old theories, spiral galaxies form over several hundred million years, and bar structures characterize galaxies that have undergone several billion years of evolution. The galaxies of that era should have been small, unstructured, and marked by violent star formation processes. But J0107A shows a remarkably orderly spiral structure with a well-defined central bar. The fact that it already has such a complex structure contradicts classical models and raises a fundamental question. Have we completely misunderstood cosmic evolution? J0107A was discovered with the help of the James Webb Space Telescope and the Atacama Large Millimeter Slash Submillimeter Array, ALMA. Through detailed analysis of its gas movements, researchers found that this galaxy is not only unusually structured, but also has a star formation rate that exceeds that of today's Milky Way. This is unusual and further evidence that our model of cosmic evolution contains fundamental errors. The discovery of J0107A is forcing astronomers to rethink their previous ideas and raises the question of whether the nature of the universe is really as we have assumed it to be. Are there possibly previously unknown physical processes that influence the formation of galaxies? Or do we need to rethink our entire picture of the origin of the cosmos? The problem of cosmic evolution. Are our models flawed? Science hasn't been this exciting in 100 years. Imagine the time when researchers first looked beyond the boundaries of the Milky Way and realized that dark nebulae are other galaxies. These discoveries led to the cosmology that still holds true today, and now we could be on the verge of another paradigm shift. We have calculated the age of the universe and logically traced the formation of matter from the moment of its inception to the glow of the first stars. What had long been mathematical assumptions were to be confirmed by real images, and the James Webb Space Telescope was developed specifically for this purpose. But the telescope does not confirm our assumptions. It overturns them, and we have to start all over again. The galaxy J0107A is just one of many discoveries that show something else. Astronomy is confronted with the question of why a well-organized barred spiral galaxy already existed 11.1 billion years ago, when such structures were not supposed to form until billions of years later. According to the standard model of cosmology, galaxies evolve over long periods of time, during which smaller galaxies collide and gradually form larger, ordered structures. Spiral galaxies such as the Milky Way were previously considered to be in the late phase of galaxy evolution, an orderly final state that only forms after billions of years. But J0107A proves that such structures existed much earlier, thereby challenging not only previous assumptions about galaxy growth. The current understanding of cosmic evolution is based on slow, chaotic processes, violent collisions, extensive star-forming regions, fragmented structures that only mature into stable galaxies through countless interactions. But J0107A shows something different. We may be underestimating the speed at which star populations and spiral structures form. Perhaps our models are too linear, too mechanistic, and we need to consider entirely new physical concepts. One hypothesis is that cosmic magnetic fields and gravitational resonances played a much greater role in the early days than previously thought. 
It could be that certain regions of the universe developed under completely different conditions, allowing galaxies to grow faster and in a more structured way than we would have expected. Alternatively, cosmic reionization, the phase in which the universe became transparent again after the Dark Ages, may have proceeded differently than expected, allowing galaxies to reach their current structure much faster. The discovery of J0107A raises yet another radical question. Is our understanding of cosmic expansion possibly flawed? For decades, the observation of redshift has been considered proof that the universe is expanding. But what if this interpretation is not the whole truth? The crazy measurement data and galaxies like this one could indicate that we have overlooked a previously unknown physical mechanism. Nobel Prize winner discovers new clues to the true structure of the universe. Sir Roger Penrose says that consciousness is the true key to understanding the universe. The Nobel Prize winner's work deals with theories of physics, quantum field theory, and consciousness research. Like no other, the British scientist builds bridges between disciplines whose representatives argue elsewhere and cannot find consensus. Can you imagine that the expansion of the universe is not a spatial expansion, but a change in physical constants that has to do with a change in cosmic consciousness? It sounds crazy, but it could be reality. If we look at quantum physics, we know that the observer has an influence on the outcome of certain experiments and on the state of the quantum. The observer is consciousness. Are we possibly making a serious mistake when we think that physically defined quantities and forces shape, sustain, and explain the cosmos? What if our cosmos is shaped by consciousness that makes decisions like you and I do? and can also decide to simply let the clocks in the universe run differently. Then, our scientists would be running around with a compass and a ruler, chasing a curiosity that is far more than just a static, mechanical universe. A consciously thinking cosmos that renews itself cyclically, just as nature cyclically recreates itself on our planet? That would be crazy, but it's conceivable. The hypotheses of Sir Roger Penrose and others would mean that our impression of expansion is merely an illusion created by an adjustment of the properties of space-time. Other researchers consider that we only perceive the true structure of the universe in a distorted way because our consciousness functions within barriers that obscure our view of the truth. Perhaps space-time itself is not as constant as previously assumed, and our measurement methods are really just a feeble attempt to squeeze something into these boundaries that is far more powerful, larger, more changeable, and crazier than we can imagine. Roger Penrose won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2020 for his work on the mathematics of black holes. Penrose showed that their existence is a direct consequence of general relativity. But his theories go far beyond black holes and logical connections. Black holes could also play a key role in the new view of the structure of the universe. Penrose developed the concept of cyclic cosmology, which states that the universe did not simply begin with the Big Bang and expand infinitely, but that it's an endless cycle of expansion and contradiction. This idea could provide an explanation for seemingly impossible galaxies, such as J0107A. If the universe is indeed cyclical, some of the oldest galaxies could be remnants of a previous cosmic cycle, or the universe does not renew itself from a single point, but experiences regional seasons, climate zones, and other dynamics that are difficult to predict, as demonstrated by the nature of our wonderful home planet. The evidence for a pulsing cosmos could also be evidence of dynamics that we have not yet understood. After more than 40 years of studying the true nature of the cosmos, Penrose said, the universe is much stranger than we can imagine. In his work, he invites us to think far beyond the boundaries of classical cosmology and to include aspects of consciousness, changeability, and intelligent dynamics. The fact is that the universe does not conform to our expectations. Let's look at it from the perspective of cosmology. The expansion of space is not simply a movement. No, space itself is growing, as if it had decided to improve itself in an unlimited stretching session. In quantum mechanics, particles are sometimes here, sometimes there, and sometimes everywhere at once. Schrodinger's cat is both alive and dead until someone is curious enough to open the box. Then, there's astrobiology. 
billions of galaxies with hundreds of billions of stars and even more planets. And yet, no aliens visiting us to marvel at our strange taste in music or crazy eating habits. The famous Fermi paradox shows that we can't actually be alone. But where are the others? Maybe the aliens are watching us through a giant cosmic microscope and have decided that we're not ready for intergalactic diplomacy yet. We don't have to look to aliens or a thinking cosmos to find the craziness of this world. General relativity tells us that gravity curves space, black holes swallow light, and time itself is relative. This means that, technically speaking, you age more slowly than your impatient neighbor while waiting for the train. Have fun thinking about that. Consider the idea or even your surroundings with an open mind, a consciousness that observes as Schrodinger observed his cat in the box. What do you see, and what is the cosmos to you then? Whatever emerges could be closer to the solution and a true explanation than all the supposedly mathematically correct theories of the Big Bang, expansion, or redshift of light. An Alternative History of the Universe Let's rewrite the history of the universe. Imagine a model in which different cosmic ages exist, epochs in which physical constants change, new forms of matter emerge, or the universe feels like it needs a fresh coat of paint. Can you imagine a mathematical dynamic structure that we have not yet recognized, but which is capable of doing just that? It could be a kind of supercomputer with its own intelligence. Or maybe there is a crazy programmer somewhere who keeps rearranging our world a little bit at a time, increasing the difficulty level or the surprises for science on Earth. The idea is crazy and at the same time possible. If we follow the Kardashev scale, we could be the product of an extraterrestrial superintelligence that programmed our universe and invented us. Will we ever be able to get to the bottom of such madness with instruments and space telescopes? Or will we have to use our consciousness, our minds, and perhaps a little bit of imagination? Subscribe to the channel now for many more exciting videos.